All right, let's talk about Tailwind. So Tailwind is a very popular CSS framework that uses the concept of utility classes. So here on tailwindcss.com, you can see that we have a bunch of classes like Flex, PT-4, which is short for Padding Top 4, Text Center, and so on. So here we have a ton of small utility classes and we can combine them to style our application. Some people love it, some people hate it. I have to confess that I also have a love-hate relationship with Tailwind, but I think I love it more than I hate it. If you have never used it before, I strongly encourage you to give it a chance because these days, a lot of projects are built with Tailwind. So if you want to upgrade your skills and expand your job opportunities, you should have Tailwind in your skill set. So in Tailwind, we have a ton of small utility classes. For example, for controlling paddings, we have a bunch of classes that start with P followed by a number, which can be one, two, three, four, and so on. The larger the number, the more padding we'll have. We also have PX for applying horizontal padding. This is the same as applying a left and a right padding. We also have PY for vertical padding. We have PT for padding top, PR for padding right, PB for padding bottom, and PL for padding left. Now you don't have to memorize any of this stuff. As you practice, you will get the hang of them pretty quickly. Now for margins, we have similar classes, but they start with M followed by a number, MX for horizontal margin, MY for vertical margin, and so on. Now for styling text, again, we have a ton of classes. For example, for controlling the size, we have text-xs, which is extra small. We have text small, text base, which is like the regular size. We have text large, x large, 2x large, and so on. For applying colors, we have classes that start with text followed by a color. So if you Google Tailwind color palette on this page, you can see the default color palette that comes with Tailwind. So we have all these beautiful colors and for the most part, we don't need to customize them. They just look great as they are, but you can always customize these and use colors that are specific to your brand. Now look, for example, for sky, we have various shades of blue that start with 50 and go all the way to 950. The larger the number, the darker the color. You will see an example of this later in this video. Now, back to our slide. For controlling the background color, we have a bunch of classes that start with BG followed by color code. Now, for controlling the thickness of font, we have a bunch of classes like font thin, font light, normal, medium, bold, and so on. That's the idea of Tailwind. Now, there are a lot more classes in Tailwind that we can cover here, but our focus here in this course is on Next.js and not Tailwind. I just wanna show you the basics so you can learn the rest on your own. So let's see these classes in action, and then I'll explain why you may wanna use Tailwind. So back to our project. Earlier, we used this CSS module to style our product card. Let's see how we can use Tailwind instead of a CSS module to style this component. So. In this file, we don't need to import our CSS module. Instead, we can apply Tailwind utility classes right here. Now in this lesson, I'm gonna use a different set of styles than the styles we applied in our CSS module. So you can see more of Tailwind in action. So we're gonna give this some padding, we type P dash. Now if you press control and space, you can see all the padding classes. So we have P-0, which is equivalent to padding zero. We have padding one, which is equivalent to 0.25 rem or four pixels. And as the number increases, we get more padding. So this IntelliSense comes with the extension that we installed at the beginning of the course. So let's give this a padding of five, a vertical margin of five. Now I wanna give it a background color. So we type BG dash. Now look again, in IntelliSense, we can see all the colors. I'm gonna go with sky dash 400. Now to make the text white, here we apply text dash white. We can make it large. So here we use text XL or 2XL, 3XL and so on. Again, on the right side, you can see the actual size that is applied. So for text XL, font size is 1.25 RAM or 20 pixels. Now here's a part that gets interesting. Here we have pseudo selectors like hover. And with this, we can apply 
styles when we hover over this box or this div. So we can change the background color to BG Sky 600 or 500 to make it slightly darker. Now back to the browser. Here's our div. If you hover over it, you can see the color changes. So this is how we style our applications with Tailwind. Now the selling point of Tailwind is that we can style our components right here in our component file. We don't have to juggle back and forth between a CSS file and a component file. Everything is in one place. Now, some people argue that this violates the separation of concerns principle, but I have to disagree with that because the whole idea of separation of concerns is organize our code into distinct sections or modules, each having a separate concern. If you follow this principle, we'll have more opportunities for reuse. But in this case, this React component itself is a module and defines the reuse boundary. So what we have inside this boundary is purely implementation detail. We can have markup with JavaScript and style all next to each other. What is inside is irrelevant to the outside world as long as this component or this module is reusable. That's just what I think. If you disagree or don't like using Tailwind, that's totally fine. But again, if you want to expand your job opportunities, I highly encourage you to learn Tailwind because it's in high demand these days. But there is one more benefit to using Tailwind, and this is the reason I personally love Tailwind. With Tailwind, when we build our application, our final CSS bundle will only have the utility classes that we have used in our markup. So if tomorrow we delete this div, none of these classes will be in our final CSS bundle, unless we have used them somewhere else. So with Tailwind, we don't have to remember to clean up as we change or delete our components. With CSS modules, if we delete this component, we have to remember to delete this CSS file as well. Or if we change the structure here, you might still have unused classes in our CSS module. So we have to remember to come back and clean up. So that's the selling point that convinced me to start using Tailwind. But on the flip side, I don't like that over time, as our markup gets complex, we'll have a lot of these classes and the code is kind of hard to read, but it's just a matter of getting used to it. It's not terribly bad, but it's something that puts some people off early on. But over time, I think the benefits outweigh the downside.